in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Dear audience, I am going to make a video on how to defend your MPhil or PhD thesis. All students who write their theses are expected to defend their theses at the end of the research. Of course, so far as the kind of knowledge that I have got and the kind of experience that I have got here in Pakistan, I will be sharing that experience with you. Students mostly, once they complete their theses, they submit them in the department. And of course, there is a procedure where we have got one or two external examiners, one internal examiner, and sometimes two foreign examiners as well. And they suggest certain kinds of changes. And of course, the students are supposed to make those changes. And then in the end, they are supposed to defend their thesis. So we call it Viva Voshi. Viva Voshi is a kind of oral test where the student is supposed to come in front of the panel of judges and defend his or her thesis. This panel of judges comprises the dean of the faculty, the HOD of the department, the supervisor, one internal examiner, and usually two external or one external examiner. And of course, you are supposed, you are supposed to know that they are going to ask you questions from the theses that you have written. Very first thing that you should keep in your mind is that the kind of demeanor, the kind of behavior that you are going to make. So it means that you should look well dressed, you should put on good kind of clothes and you should be confident enough to defend your thesis because if you have carried out the research, it is only you who know well that what you have written, how you have you know conducted the research, how you have collected the data, how you have analyzed the data, what kind of conceptual and theoretical framework you had when you were doing all these things. So usually this test, it lasts from one hour to one hour and 30 minutes. And they will be asking you many questions. But if you are confident and you know your research, you know how you have carried out your research, then it is not difficult to answer the questions that they are going to ask. Remember, no doubt the professors or the panel of judges, they are the experts but they may not be expert in the area in which you have done your research. Or they may have read that research or some articles way back in their career, but they may not know exactly, they may not have the fresh knowledge about that particular field in which you have carried out your research. So, first of all, you will be given 20 minutes to present your research. For this, you can have PowerPoint presentation where you can talk about the objectives of your research, the research questions, the statement of the problem, how you have conceptualized all these things and what is the statement of the problem. Keeping in mind the statement of the problem, the kind of questions that you have developed and then these questions, how you have answered them, the kind of methodology that you have adopted to answer those questions. Remember, there is not just one way to reach the destination. For example, if I am sitting in Islamabad and I want to go to Karachi, so I can go there in my own car, I can go there by train, I can go there by Airbus, or I can go there by the bus, public transport. So it means that I have various ways, means, to reach my destination. So in the same way, you have got various ways or means to reach your destination. But the kind of way that you have selected, you should be able to present its rationale. Why you have selected a particular topic? 
what urged you to work on this particular topic so you should give the rationale so each and every step that you have taken particularly in the section of methodology so you should talk about that how you have collected the data how you have developed your research instruments for example if you have collected the data through questionnaire how you developed the questionnaire is it a structured questionnaire or non structured questionnaire is it semi a semi structured questionnaire if you have collected the data through interviews so what kind of interviews you have you know conducted how you have collected the data and what kind of you know data analysis procedures you have followed to analyze the data and later on of course what are your findings and how you are going to answer the research questions that you have posed in the beginning of the research so what i want to tell you here is that you should know the inside out of your thesis because you are the one who has conducted the research you are the one who has collected the data so of course in the thesis you have kept notice of each and every step that you have taken so now it is time to orally tell them that how you collected the data how you analyze the data and what are your findings well there are certain questions that we usually ask to all the students for example what original contribution has your thesis made to this field of study of course they will be asking you what is new in your research what is new in your study what is your contribution in your study so you need to tell them first of all you should situate your research in a kind of genre that you have selected for your research is it motivation is it assessment is it communicative competence is it something which is related to literature okay so is it uh, you know pop culture or you know are you dealing with the movies or what kind of data or field that you selected and how you are going to situate your research in that particular field because people have already carried out their researches you have already conducted the literature review so now you know well that how they have conducted the research what were their findings where they were sitting what was the location of that research and how you have conducted the research and what are your findings so how far your findings they are different from the findings of the previous researches so if you know the similarities and differences of the other researches and of your research if you know it very well that how your research is different from the other previous researches which people have conducted in your area so that will be your contribution so you should tell that it is different from all the other researches in these particular ways and in this way you will be able to tell your contribution so you can frankly tell that this is the contribution that you have made explain the main research questions you are hoping to address of course you need to explain your research questions and you need to answer them what are the strengths and weaknesses of your thesis so you should be in a position to tell that what are the strengths and weaknesses because no research is 100% correct research all researches they have got weaknesses as well so you should know the delimitations of your study and of course through the de delimitations of your study you can also come to know you know the weaknesses of your research and particularly when you are suggesting some recommendations for other researchers so in this way it means that those were the weaknesses of your research that you could not you know conduct that you could not uh, answer uh, or you could not deal with those issues if you had to start the thesis again what would you do differently so they can ask you this question what are your plans for the future so how will you take this research in future so this is how dear students you should be able to answer them again i repeat you should be well dressed you should be confident enough to answer their questions and if you prepare well and if you have gone through your you know thesis you have made notes of the thesis so you should be able to tackle the questions that they are going to ask you 
it is not necessary that you should be giving the answer of each and every question but of course you should be give, giving the answers so most of the questions that they are going to ask you should be able to answer them so talk about the you know topic that you have taken introduce it well talk about the statement of the problem then keeping in mind the statement of the problem talk about the research objectives and research questions and then how you are going to answer those questions what is the methodology that you have adopted to answer those questions how did you analyze the data what are your findings of the study and how is your research different from the other researches or what is new about your research or what is the contribution that you have made in your research thank you very much